what's going on crew welcome back if you guys can there you go welcome back crew i'm gonna pull try to pull over here uh bullseye is a little loud man whenever i do a little recording so i'm gonna try to get to a spot and we're gonna stop it i'm gonna take a little walk around man but so you guys can take a look at bullseye and stuff she's been driving really good lately and stuff and I've been driving a lot of her. You guys can hear it now. But you guys take a look at Bullseye. She's been looking good. This is my everyday driver, man. I tell you what, I drive Bullseye and stuff. And do y'all see? This is why I call it Bullseye. If you guys haven't watched other videos, me explaining why I call it Bullseye. She got bullet holes and I kept that original. Now, I actually got a new tailgate. There was bullet holes in the, the tailgate when I first got it. You guys will see those videos as well. I got a new tailgate on it. But anyway, guys, I just want to uh, let you guys know, do this quick little intro. I got a treat for you guys. Hey, if I haven't told you guys, I'm back with another video, guys. Hey, and this is going to be a pretty awesome car review it's gonna be multiple car reviews because this is actually a personal collection of a mr. Larry McClure he used to own a um, NASCAR team so and his family is really big in a NASCAR so that name should sound familiar to you guys but I want you guys to take a special look at this 1957 Chevy Bel Air it's um, one of the first um, editions that had um, originally fuel injection motor in it and I tell you what man from my understanding as is this um, Chevy Bel Air is worth like $125,000 as it sit burnt up the front end is burnt up and some of the interior is burnt up so look at this video about in the middle of this video guys and check that uh, 57 Bel Air out it's awesome but this car collection is just one of a kind car collection I feel very privileged to be able to um, take a walk through with this um, nice car collection um, my buddy Ron he actually brought a 55 Pontiac the video that you guys probably seen before this one here so um, I had to make this into two videos because it was just so long and stuff and I just wanted you guys to see this nice car collection and stuff guys so I hope you guys enjoy this video hey, and if you like this video at the end don't forget to subscribe to my channel hey and what hey why haven't you guys already subscribed anyway you guys are missing out on all of the videos that I've been dropping guys but anyway it's not too late go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button as well and make sure you share with your friends at the end of this video guys so without further ado let's get into this video that's a 62 Plymouth uh-huh Sport Fury, 413 max wedge, two four barrel. They was 50 made. Of this one? Of that car. Really? This so this is a bad. He's got two of them like that. He my, need them all. my next door neighbor is fixing a 50 model Chevy panel. It's all windows. <laughs> that's, that's what he's got. Okay, that's all windows. Huh? 27, 28,000 miles on it. Original miles, wow. Original miles. So you, do you work with all these? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I do. Whatever, you know, that's what we do up here. Yeah, God, oh, man, it's awesome. Are you going to... This car right here, now this car is family sedan, right? Okay. Look at it real close. Look at this. Uh, this one, the wheels. Bench seat, automatic on the column. Wow. Wow. Now, uh -huh. it's got a Winston Cup motor in it, though. <laughs> Oh God! Seven hundred and fifty horsepower. Oh my God! That's sick. God, so, hey, well, this is what y'all did, did. I mean, this is what y'all do racing, you know. So, man, I bet you this baby get up and go. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, God, oh, really? Yeah. What type? Of, whenever these cars sit like this, what type of maintenance do you have to do on them? Since well, they drive, I mean, you know? said a lot so before we, you know, the carburetors get stopped up. Really. Seven hundred and fifty horsepower. Well, I try to clean them every so often. Why he got he got he got two brothers up in here? Yeah, it's a seventy and seventy one. That's a that right there is a three ninety six automatic. 
Uh-huh. It's 454 four speed. Oh my goodness. That right there's only got 40 some thousand actual miles on it. Uh, so you you guys moving all this these two or yeah oh yeah where are you guys moving to just well, not sure we think we're moving down towards Bristol. oh well that's okay we don't know yet, does he? i mean he went and at the building but i don't know if he's actually made a deal or i mean this is Camaro 302. Guys, I'm just going to try to show you guys. Uh, go in here and look at that. I want to, we don't got much time. I know that interior is God sweet. damn it. That's beautiful. 302. 289. Fastback. I don't think he wants to buy anything. No, I don't think he did either. You know, I mean, 76 years old. Exactly. I you understand. Know, I, I kind of understand. I do too. I understand that for sure. Ah, this is awesome, man. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, I'll stop you. Ready? Ready? I think you had a kid on. Probably the antenna. I think the lead. The antenna lead is what I'm about. Hey, this is a car show within itself, guys. Anyway, I brought a buddy of mine. He's a car fruit station in my brother-in-law. Side of my phone will also take a picture. That's what, like you said. I, yeah, I heard it. Four deluxe. Yeah. This one's badass. Mm -hmm. one's got I like the back. Oh, look at this, Cheyenne. Look at this one here. I tell you, man, I like them all. Malfunction. <laughs> Malfunction. Yeah. So you restore these old cars too, huh? Yep. Wow. I tell you what, man. Look how look at this Bel Air, man. I tell you, what, I bet you this guy, whoever had this before, was crying when it caught on fire. Cause this, you could tell this thing was. Look how straight this thing is. God, so man, look at all that chrome. All that chrome. And so they actually was driving it with the original fuel injection motor in it and stuff? Wow. Man. Yeah. What y'all gonna do with the front suspension in this truck? Are you gonna leave it the way it is or are you gonna flip it or something? I might as well put a sound on it. Fuel injection. Man, that's all original, but now look at it. that dash. Is...
they make a snout, you can just unbolt the one that's on it and take it off and bolt one under it. Like Mustang 2 front end? It ain't really Mustang 2, but it's coilovers and... Same idea. Yeah, basic idea. Everything's basically that idea. Exactly. I'm going to put an S10 on this one here. I had a 55 year if I did that too. I swear I'm not trying to get one more. That is so cool, man. You got an awesome. You got a cool job, man. I mean, you may not think it is, but you got. I mean, seriously, man. I mean, you've been doing this for how long now? How many years? How long have I been racing? Since 1981. All right, man. You're the one of the guys behind the scenes. We built a bunch of them. After two years, we built one every two weeks. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you know, you can't, uh, well, you can wreck a race car where you can't fix it, but you can't hardly wreck when you can't fix it. You see a fight this one? Oh, yeah, I've seen all this stuff yesterday. Nice, huh? No, it's, it's different today than it used to be. Come here, let me show you something. They're so, they've got this is an awesome place to go in. It is. I said the last couple of years. You know, it's not, it's not like it was when we were racing. Have fun racing now. And the dog got a kind of hell of a boot. Hey, we stopped and we said, we're racing. 1944. Got a soft top on it. Top. Yeah, that's cool. Mr. McClure owned all of these cars. crew so we are about to head up out of here guys hope you guys enjoy that little tour um i, I tell you what with awesome vehicles to see that it's not every day you get to go inside somebody's personal garage and um take a garage tour or something like that guys so you know this is awesome awesome day for me today it was a privilege for me to come on and look at mr mcclure vehicles his whole collection and stuff that He's um, had over the years that he's restored majority of them and he brought some of them new. And it was a, a, a pleasure showing you guys these old cars. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.